Hi everyone, it's me, Carrie. So I wanted to talk about something that I didn't realize has happened. It's related to Wikipedia, and as we all know, there is no Wikipedia page about BFDI. And if you search BFDI on Wikipedia, there's this talk page titled, Why is BFDI not on Wikipedia? And it's really long, so I'm not gonna read through all of it. So what I will say is that, like, I wanna just like make everyone happy. I don't wanna really like start fights or like be bitter. So since I don't own Wikipedia, like, I don't want to tell them what to do, but I will say that in all honesty, like, I think it would be kind of nice or fun, or I would appreciate it if BFDI was on Wikipedia, but I just don't want to be too presumptive, you know? Like, apparently this this table shows all the times that a fan tried to create a BFDI Wikipedia page, but then it got deleted, and, like, there's, like, multiple in a single day, so maybe some people are just, like, really rabid on there. And here's some more public deletions. So... Okay, I guess I would also just read this tweet, because I know that this topic surfaced on Twitter about a month ago. So Brian Koch, one of the writers of Inanimate Insanity, said, it is, abs it is actually absurd that Wikipedia won't allow there to be any Battle Fujim Island Wikipedia page. A long-running, award-winning web series with over a billion views, nationwide events, and a scholastic book tie-in, and official merchandise. What more does BFDI have to do? Well, the first thing I want to say is, you know, thank you, Brian, for, you know, vouching for us. See, I, I don't want to like toot my own horn too much, so it's kind of nice to have someone else out there to kind of say the accolades. And I would say that I think what Wikipedia cares a lot about is um, journalism and like newspaper articles written by people who are not in the fandom. Because I guess their viewpoint is that if you are in the fandom, what you have to say is biased and you're always going to write it in a positive light. So it's kind of like unfair to have that happen. So it needs to be written by someone who basically has no association with the web show at all, and they have to write it from an outside perspective. And that still doesn't exist, I don't think. Um, I mean, we did host, like, a, a tour with, like, 15,000 people, and I don't know if any of those people, like, have any connections to journalist people. So, yeah, like, I will just say that from Wikipedia's perspective, like, they still just think it's a whole bunch of fans in a very insular group. But, I mean... Having read through this page, I do feel like there is kind of a double standard almost. Because, you know... Well, anyway, I'll just read what Hush Mush 4 says. They said, Oh my effing god, why does Wikipedia have so much beef against BFDI? They made a whole effing page dedicated to why they don't like it. And it says... This is referencing this Wikipedia talk page. Which says, BFDI became increasingly popular by the late 2010s especially with the release of its fourth season, Battle for BFDI, in 2017. I remember that day. This has led to pages on BFDI being recreated, deleted, and salted more frequently. I'm not quite sure what salting means, but I'm sure Wikipedia editors know. Users nominated these pages for deletions, of which there were consensus to have most of them deleted and some salted indefinitely. So I think that word indefinitely is probably meaning that there's no way for it to come back. In September 2020, the term Battle for Dream Island was placed under title blacklist in an attempt to curb recreations. In 2022, Administrator Tim Y was warned against restoring the Battle for Jim Island article. So I guess Tim Y must be someone in the BFDI fandom who's being reprimanded. In the same year, a deletion review was written as pages related to BFDI were constantly being recreated. In February 2023, Battle for BFB, and I think this is the most important part. In February 2023, Battle for BFB, Kerry Huang and Michael Huang became blacklisted as well, followed by Object Show in March 2024, which was only a few months ago. And I think this last part is really what I feel like is the double standard, because to be placed on a blacklist, I think, basically means the instant someone proposes an article, it doesn't even need to be seen by a Wikipedia editor. I think it just instantly gets deleted or, like, gets banned because it's on a blacklist, you know? Like, if you, if you have, like, users blacklisted from your roblox game like they can't even petition to join they're just not allowed in i don't want to like spread misinformation so, though so you know i i don't know if that's entirely true so take that with a grain of salt a uh, topsy says hawk tua gets a wikipedia page but not bfdi um i know okay well i know she has a podcast but that's completely unrelated um so yeah there's like what is this okay this person says i'm Ren number one boss, CEO of Ren's Rehabilitation CE, says, I'm very obsessed with the BFDI Wikipedia discourse because even with a full article explaining why BFDI has not been featured, BFDI will still argue. Okay, so I guess this person is in on Wikipedia's side trying to say that, like, look, we've written the explanation, so, like, there's no need to keep debating it. Anyway, 
what I wanted to talk about is that I really... Okay, so what I thought... I remember in 2017, I was making friends with a lot of CS people at Stanford. And one of them asked, like, what's one of your lifelong goals? And I remember just off the cuff, I said, oh, I'd love to have a Wikipedia article someday. Um, but then I remember, like, as soon as I th said that, I felt like, oh, that's a little narcissistic. Or I don't know if that's the right thing. Because some people might say, like, oh, I'd love to cure cancer. or I'd love to start a family. So I was like, I don't know if that seems a little fickle of me. But I still think, you know, even though... Like, I'm not going to say it's the most important thing in the world because it's not, but I still think it would be, a, it's a good way to kind of just feel a little bit like appreciated or acknowledged in the larger world. Um, also, like if YouTube goes down, there's still some reference to it. It's like, oh, you know, even a hundred years from now, Wikipedia is the encyclopedia that will tell future generations what mattered. Um, the what I was going to say at the beginning, how there's something I didn't realize that happened, has happened is I actually do have a Wikipedia page, and I didn't even know about it until a few weeks ago. It's because the scale of the universe, which is, you know, my educational tool that shows the sizes of objects to scale, actually has a Wikipedia page. And what I think is, like, shocking about this is I feel like scale of the universe has a smaller fandom these days than BFDI. Like, I feel like BFDI has spawned, like, hundreds of spin-off shows, and there are people who dedicate their entire YouTube channels to, like, talking about BFDI, um, and then, you know, on, on this chart, you know, there's at least 700 channels with over 3,000 subscribers who make videos about object shows. Um, wait, I gotta zoom out, oh my gosh. Uh, and then, like, you can scroll down 100 channels, 100 channels, there's just more. And, like, Scale of the Universe, I don't think, has fans of that caliber. But what I will say is I think Scale of the Universe has larger breadth. So, BFDI might only be known by like 2 million people and those 2 million take it super, super seriously. But if you're not in those 2 million, you've never heard of it. Whereas Scale of the Universe, I feel like is shown in a lot of science classrooms around the country. And honestly, like, I don't know how that happened. Like, I just put it up there and, and like, they just started like taking it. Well, no, sharing it, which is good. But it's like, maybe it's been seen by 10 million people and they're not like rabid fans, but they're teachers, they're educators, they're students. And they're like the, the future like policymakers of this country so i feel like it's people with a much more diverse set of like skill sets so it makes a lot more sense that someone in that skill set will have had articles written about them and they'll maybe reference scale of the universe i guess we can look in the references like abc news this godforsaken article was the only place that had a picture of michael or i for four whole years because this article got posted in february 2012 when this first came out and i like how it says well, I mean, I remember writing all these answers, um, but like, this is from 2012. I think someone says like, I'm a ninth grader, which is, which was true at the time. Like these days I feel so separated from being a ninth grader. See, so Carrie Huang, a 15 year old, 14 year old ninth grader from Moraga, California with technical help from his twin brother, Michael. Like, I just think it's a good archive of time showing you what it was like in that time period. But like, there's 11 whole references, which is like kind of a lot if you think about it. Yeah, astronomy picture of the day. I remember this got posted on APOD in March 2012, like right before my birthday. And then I guess it also got reposted again in October 2018. And it doesn't work anymore because no flash, I guess. But I guess my point is just that like, Wikipedia serves like, I guess the general public. So if you want to be put in the annals of Wikipedia history, you need to serve the general public in some way. And that could be a, something as simple as, like, being a town of a hundred... Actually, that, is, that seems like the opposite. If you're, like, a town of a hundred people in, like, South Dakota, you have a Wikipedia article. But I think it's because, like, the general public does care to know what every city in the U.S. is like. Whereas BFDI, again, like, of the 99% of the world population who doesn't know about it, they don't need to hear about it. But, again, I still think it would be cool someday for this to happen. I do think, there, like, if I just search, like, BFDI article, what happened? And then we go to like news. What is this? K L A S News Now. I've never seen this. Jack and Jellyfish celebrates over 16 years of animation excellence and online influence. News provided by E I N Presswire. Jack and Jellyfish, an animated YouTube channel owned by Visionary Create. Visionary Creators. I, I feel like that's so lofty. Oh my gosh. I'm just a kid. Well, I'm not a kid anymore, but like, I'm just making random videos. Carrie and Michael. Proudly marks over 16 years of animated content. Since its inception in February 4th, 2008, Jack and Jelly has been pioneering animation's studio 
entertaining success with its iconic web series Battle for Shaman, Battle for BFD, BFDI, The Power of Two, and a plethora of other imaginate, imaginative animations. Well, thank you very much, newsnow.com. Um, I'll read through more of this later. I don't want to like spend too much time reading this whole thing. But yeah, I don't know what like, exactly what the qualifications are. I just want to add one last thing before I wrap up this video, which is that like maybe the reason that this page is like, I guess kind of leaning towards like anti-BFD. I don't want to like say like, oh, it's pro-BFD or anti-BFD. It's trying to be very like factual and neutral. Um, it's like maybe that situation where you're at school and you're trying to become friends with someone. If you like walk up to someone and you instantly say like, hey, I want to go in your house. I want to like see your bedroom. Like that's so creepy. You're like, oh, I don't want to be friends with you. But like, let's say someone's just like, hi, I just want to get to know you. Who are you? And it's like over the next few weeks, you gradually become friends. And then later on, you actually like do hang out and, and you just have to like listen to music together at someone's house. And, and it's like you would let them into your house anyway. But the fact that the other person was so forward with it at the beginning and just demanded it made you be like, I will, I do not want to ever be friends with you. I feel like that situation might be what's happening here, where maybe because the first impression that a lot of these Wikipedia editors had for these fans was this kind of like unbridled enthusiasm that was a little too strong. They just like got a really bad first impression and they didn't want to think about it ever again. Whereas like if, if the first, I don't know, appearances of BFDI were more gentle or, or more accepting of like, compromise then they would have been like you know what you can have an article smaller than you asked for but you can have it like i think that happens a lot in society where the people who are like too strongly wanting something don't get it but the people who are more like passive actually do get it because the general public is more accepting of people who are like willing to compromise i don't know if i'm like overly speculating but i just feel like you know i'm just trying to analyze why like cause this article itself is longer than most wikipedia pages and again like i'm taking a more neutral stance because i do have a sense that like there will be bfdi fans and wikipedia editors who will watch this video and i want both parties to know that i hear and understand both sides of the situation um and of course i'm biased because i'm the creator of bfdi so it's like i can't be like a moderator here but i do want both parties to know that i'm not here to, st to stoke these fires or, or create more drama because I think that like people are kind of tired of this drama um yeah like disruptive editing like I think that's one of the main things or gaming the system so disruptive editing is the abuse of editing privileges and it's not allowed in the case of BFDI many editors have decided on a consensus that articles about BFDI do not belong in Wikipedia however it's demonstrated on the list below the pages of and wastes the editor's time see I, I feel like I want to be neutral but I just feel like a lot of this language feels a, a little bit more like, uh, I don't know, I don't know what the right word is, like, uh, scathing than it needs to be. Like, okay, maybe it does waste the editor's time, but I feel like writing this article took a bit of time, whereas, you know, writing an article about, like, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, like, uh, 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 Gettysburg, South Dakota, which is a town that, like, like, there's articles about every little city there is, which is very, very short. Okay, this is actually kind of long. Never mind then. Because I remember I used to use this city as, like, my prototypical random small town. But, like, I guess my point is that, like, you know, if you wrote, write a really, really short article, that would technically take less time. But that is, like, appeasing the chaotic people that you don't want to appease. So, again, I understand both sides. Um, and I think that, okay, summary, conclusion is this section. Will an article on BFDI ever exist? An article about BFDI is unlikely to exist in the near future, and attempts to create one are now simply too soon. So I guess it's like, if you become notable, um, like I guess, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example, but like maybe like Skibbity Toilet. It's like, it takes a few months, even if you're like super center in the spotlight, it'll take a few months for, you know, the established media and journalism to like document it. And then, like, once it's become documented, it feels like this is a mainstay. It's not just a flash in the pan. Then they write an article about it. So if you can de demonstratively prove that there's now significant coverage and reliable sources that are independent of BFDI, then you're free to start a deletion review with new evidence and rationale included. So, I mean, that all makes sense. I do feel like it's kind of like an uphill battle because not only do we not have the qualifications, even if we did have the qualifications, we have to wait, like, a certain amount of time. That is, of course, not defined because... You know, none of these are hard set rules. It's all kind of like 
common sense. So if something is too soon, like, you know, maybe just has to be in the public consciousness for a little longer. Uh, and then I think the main thing is like, they really wanted to emphasize always stay polite. And if the answer is no, move on. So I think they're putting this there because I'm guessing there's a lot of kids out there who have tried to create articles and have not been so polite. And when people said no, they probably like kept typing tirades. And I think that is making it less likely for this to exist. So I don't know. I just hope that like both sides can like understand each other. And um, again, I want to circle this back to scale of the universe though, because one other thing I want to point out is that I like to think of myself as Carrie first and foremost. And I think a lot of people online see me as like the BFDI guy, but you know, up until I was like 14 or 15, I just thought of myself as like the guy in school who's really nerdy and likes math and puzzles and all that. And so I think there has been like some tweets about scale of the universe being like a random game the BFDI guy made a long time ago, but I actually feel like scale of the universe is more core to like who I am as a person or like it's an example of like what I would like to give to the world than BFDI in a way. Like I want this to be as much of like a pillar of my history as BFDI. So like, I, I don't think this is like backward that the scale of the universe got an article first. Like whatever I create in the stages of life, I don't want it to be like BFDI is first and everything else is secondary. It's more like everything is an equal pillar um, and they all stand on their own to prove whether like they should get merit from the general larger population. Um, yeah. I still think it's crazy there's so many articles like down here for references like I I'm not sure like I, I don't know if I've seen most of these like singularity hub I actually didn't when was this posted April 2012 this has been up for 14 years and I didn't even know thank you David J Hill on singularity hub I actually haven't read any of this um wait I wait it says Carrie Huang creator of skeletons answered some questions for the hub see his comments below I I answered questions and I forgot. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Oh, wait, they even drew like a little diagram of what it means to be 10 to the 62nd power. Uh, what did I answer? Or did I just... Wait. Oh, I did answer. Well, I guess it's like, honestly, when I think back to like early 2012, I feel like it's a flurry of like responding to emails after emails after emails and it kind of all blends together. So I forgot. But it's also interesting because like these messages, you know, is stuff that I wrote when I was like 14 or 15. So it's nice that there's a time capsule. So I said I started using Flash when I was 10 years old. That is still true. So about five years. Well, now it'd be about 17 years. Oh my God. This is only five years after I started Flash and now it's been another 12. You can see more some more Flash dimensions I've done here. Oh, this is the BFDI playlist. Okay, so like everything is linked together. I said, I would say that programming is easier for me if I teach myself than if someone teaches me. Maybe that's because I didn't take any programming. Classes. This is still true. I still think that the best way to learn is by doing um, because you will like intrinsically want to use the concepts you learn instantly to make a game or like some project instead of having to slog through homework. I usually experiment or search things on the internet if I don't know. Not a very good strategy, but it worked for me. Of course, a teacher is helpful to get you started, but after that, I think it's easier to experiment for yourself. So I basically, I feel like it, it's like, Oh my god, like, well, the mindset I had back then is still the same that I have now. Like, I hope that doesn't mean I haven't grown and evolved as a human. Your website has a lot of cool animations, including math. Do you have any other projects in the works? Maybe a Scale of the Universe 3. Well, I remember for, like, years I thought I was going to make a Scale of the Universe 3. And I said, currently, I'm not working a Scale of the Universe 3, but I have considered doing a Scale of Time or Scale of Population. And that is true, too. But I thought that was secret. Like, I... I I was pretty sure that I had never told anyone that because I was like, well, it might not happen, but I guess I just freely told people. But still, I think that was a lovely uh, interview with David J. Hill. I'm getting a little off topic now, so let me just read a few more tweets about um, this BFDI Wikipedia thing. The entire US state of Hawaii says, why isn't BFDI on Wikipedia proceeds to vandalize the Wikipedia page about a German federal agency? So I think this is also, you know, Wikipedia editors being annoyed at like the OSC's kind of rabidness because I do know that before BFDI blew up the main thing that showed up when you searched BFDI was this German company called Breckford International which also abbreviates to BFDI um, they removed BFDI from the list of people with the name Woody on Wikipedia that's another thing is that like there will be various articles on Wikipedia about like generic names or places like fictional islands or people named Ruby 
and it's like a long list of like hundreds of things in fiction and people will add bfdi there because it's like that's just like the 157th thing on the list why not add it but i guess because of the whole blacklist thing even adding another like bfdi thing to some other article is also not allowed this person says crazy how hawk tua and skibbity toilet have their own wikipedia page but bfdi ugh, doesn't that is true although i think these people like if you said these phrases to like a random person on the street they're more likely to know them um yeah this person on august 19th says they are really, really close to justifying a BFJ Wikipedia page soon under the rules. Hopefully someday an independent, reliable, and significant article that checks all the boxes with no bias will be made and we can rejoice. I think this person has a very nuanced and accurate view of what needs to happen. Like, I think they're accurate about the no bias thing and, like, independent, reliable thing. Um, oh, wow, they have a source assessment table for battle... Like, they have all these... Well, I didn't even know this. Like, this is, like, really thorough. It's, like, every single like source or like uh yeah i guess it's like a citation of like referencing bfdi and why it doesn't qualify so one of them is independent but not reliable the second one is reliable but not independent and then these three are independent but not reliable and some of them are not either but none of them are both so that is interesting um ed's world is another one that i don't know if it has... Wait, actually let's find out ed's world uh i feel like ed's world and bfdi's fandoms do have some overlap yeah see this does have wikipedia but I do think that Ed's World has more mainstream knowledge. Like, like ask the average kid um, if they've seen this, and they probably have. Yeah, look at all these references. Well, this is just their own website, so that's not third party. But like, this probably is third party and independent. Yeah, Tube Filter. Tube Filter is like a pretty big player in, in the online creator space. So anyway, uh, this was a pretty long ramble, but I just thought that like a lot of people are curious about my thoughts, so I thought I'd just put them out there. Um, Again, like, if you are a Wikipedia editor, I know it's, like, an arduous task keeping this huge platform, you know, clean and organized. Like, there's, like, thousands of vandalizers coming from all different directions. So I appreciate your efforts, and it's unpaid. So, like, you know, you're doing it out of the kindness of your hearts. And then, like, BFDI fans, you know, I appreciate you trying to advocate for my thing. Also unpaid. Like, you guys are just doing it on my behalf. That's so nice of you. But I think that both... I get, I've, I've already said this, but like, you know, if, in order for the Wikipedia article to happen, both parties need to work together and agree on something. And before that can even happen, we need to have like more news articles uh, like this, but I guess maybe more reputable websites that everyone has heard of, like TubeFilter. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I just think this was a cool trip down memory lane. All right. Uh, I voice tennis ball, so he'll say the goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. I like being tennis ball and goodbye. Well, that was not very eloquent. Bye.